From Proof Media, I'm here with Tony Morgan, the original trainer for Andre Berto. We just watched the fight. It was very disappointing. Let me know your thoughts on the fight. Uh, I thought, you know, Berto went out and did what he had to do as far as what he could do. I think his, uh, I think he's better than that. But, you know, Floyd's a very complicated fighter. I think that Bert needs to use his legs. He does all this work. I see all his underwater treadmill. So I'm like, use your legs, man. Sit down. He stood straight up in the inside. Didn't fight inside. Very little body work. Uh, you know, just it's a tough break, man. But Floyd's a master. You can't take anything from him. So, uh, being that you know Berto like you do, do you think it was nerves or... Because he really didn't do much early. He, he tried to bring it on in the middle and late rounds, but was ineffective by that point. Yeah, I think nerves, I think nerves probably played a part. I think that, uh, you know, I think, yeah, I mean, that's a big stage. I mean, it's the biggest stage. There's, there's none bigger. So I think everybody at that level is going to have nerves. I think that, you know, Bert's got to go back to the dog and have to bring that dog back out, especially for a fight like Floyd. I mean, you got to rough those guys up. You can't go out. You ain't going to outbox them. You ain't going to outspeed him. You ain't going to outpunch him. You got to, you got to out, you ain't going to outthink him. You got to outfight him. Because Floyd's not a fighter. He's a boxer. So, sometimes it's, I mean, it's tough, but what do you do? Absolutely. So, what do you think about Mayweather's performance in the fight? I thought he's, he's, he's a very smart tactician. I mean, he does, does what he needs to do. He's a, He's a genius in the ring. I mean, does he look correct doing it? No. He does a lot of things wrong, but at the same time, hey, they work for him, and that's the way it is. Certain things work for certain people, just like certain trainers work for certain people. Some people are good for, you know, some fighters are good for some trainers. Some trainers are good for some fighters. I think that, you know, it's it's the game of boxing. It's well, speech science. speaking of that, Virgil Hunter, how do you feel about him with Berto? Being that you brought Berto up through the ranks. How do you feel um, that Virgil, the job Virgil Hunter's doing with Berto? I think Virgil Hunter's good for Andre Ward. I think he's good for pure boxers. Uh, I think he's good for, you know, tacticians. Uh, you know, but that, it can work for Berto, but I mean, there's a lot of things that, like I said, Berto is caught up, to me it looks like he's caught up in trying to change and trying to, and to make adjustments, which is which is good, but at the same time, some of the basic stuff that he never done, he's he's still doing. So I mean, it's I mean some of the basic things that he used to always do inside. He was a massive inside fighter. Now it looks like he has no balance at all, and that's not Virgil's fault. That's you know I don't blame trainers because fighters are the only ones that can push play. So you know Virgil's good for who he's good for. Uh, do I think he's the right guy for Virgil? At this point, I, I haven't seen it yet. Last question. What do you got going on uh, coming up? Uh, coming up, probably a good night's sleep. <laughs> Maybe call up uh, the one of those 1-800-HOT-GIRL hotlines. No. I'm uh, I'm just training, man. Uh, Willie Monroe's got a fight coming up, I believe, in November. HBO, check us out. I'm working with this crazy chick, Noemi Bosquez. I'm talking about this chick's crazy. But she fights. She's champion. my style. She's a champ. She's a warrior. Three times. Got a little three titles. And she's a champ. So I mess with that Noemi Bosquez and that Willie Monroe. No doubt. Last thing, I just want to thank you for the time. Front Proof Media. If you don't catch Joseph, don't catch nobody. Or you're going to catch this. Hey, and where can they follow you or find you? I know you don't like to be found. I don't but... like to be followed. I got enough people following me these days. Uh, actually, Tony Morgan has a Twitter account. I don't use it, but you can hit me up with Tony Morgan 711. I don't know why it's 711. That shit just gave me that. Uh, everything else, uh, 863 Tony Morgan on. Uh, Tony shit, Morgan 863. Hey, something like that. I don't know. See, this guy's telling me. I don't. And Tony Morgan on Facebook. Just, just find me, goddamn it. Just find me. Thank Pardon you so friends. much for your time, man. Edit that last GD. I don't say that. My man. <laughs>